it's Katrina Sawa here, the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach with jumpstartyourmarketing.com where you can find all kinds of free and low priced resources to help you start up, grow, and market your business, uh, any industry. So what I want to talk to you about today in my um, business video tip is about social media etiquette. All right, so specifically I'm going to talk about Facebook because this is where I hang out most and where I see a the biggest number of, um, uh, let's say, not so nice things going on. <laughs> uh, I want to talk about etiquette because it 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 needs to be told. It needs to be told, and <clears throat> some of you need to learn a few rules of the road, so to speak, so that you're not being too overly aggressive, spammy, or encroaching on other people's um, stuff when you're on social media. So there's a few different things I want to talk about today. One is private messaging. Private messaging, when you are when you actually go to someone's profile or their business page and you click the message button and you send them a private message or you pull up your friends list perhaps, right? And you go through your friends list and you can send them all messages there. There are do's and don'ts of messaging, all right? The don'ts are don't just throw in a sales message and say, hey, promote my thing, or hey, do you want to buy my thing, or whatever. Like, don't just, like, promote, promote, promote via, via private message. You will burn out your friends and those you're connected to very quickly if you do this, too much especially. If you do it once in a three-months period, they're probably just going to ignore it right? Um, but what you really want to be doing is you want to be building that relationship. You want to be engaging with them, asking questions. Hey, what are you working on? Hey, how can I help you? Are you looking for any resources? Who can I connect you with? Are you trying to build your friends list? Like, try to reach out and offer some advice and support somehow. Not like, hey, I do relationship coaching. Do you need a relationship? Like, don't do that. That is not, you know, that's more salesy. So you've got to be able to differentiate between what you're saying, if it's salesy or trying to be helpful and encouraging, all right? So that's the first thing is private messaging. You want relationship first. And then once you've uh, been engaging with someone for a little while, you can go deeper with the question answers and see if they know anybody or um, have a need for your programs and products and services themselves. I always like to look at people when I'm at a networking event and I treat social media like a networking event uh, or when I'm on social media, I look at it as a big uh, referral source. I look at people as referral sources rather than prospects, okay? So if you can treat somebody, if you messaged me and said, hey, do you know anybody that's in need of a new virtual assistant, Katrina? And I'm like saying, well, I might. Let me, let me, what kinds of things do you do? And maybe I can share it with my clients, right? Uh, or do you know anybody that needs a good fitness trainer, Katrina? You know, thinking that maybe I need one, you know, but asking me, hey, do you want a fitness trainer? You know, I'm a fitness trainer. or you need any working out? I mean, that's kind of rude, right? That's rude. But if you say, hey, do you know anybody who's been looking for a fitness trainer because I'm looking for some uh, new clients? That's different. That's looking at me as a referral source. And we're all, most of us are, are more willing to help or refer people when you ask us in that manner. So that's private messaging. Really, really good to do private messaging if you do it the right way and not the wrong way. Tagging. Tagging is another big, huge pet peeve of mine. Uh, every once in a while, someone will tag me on a post and 45 other people on something that matters to that person but has nothing to do with me. They just want to get my attention and so they tag me. Therefore, it goes on my personal profile or a business page if they're tagging my business name. But then it's basically you're spamming people's walls. 48 people might get, if you tag 48 people in the post that you're putting on your wall, it's going to go onto all of those 48 people's walls unless they have a, an approve uh, setting set up. So I sometimes it ha sometimes people slip through and they get on my wall, and sometimes I have to approve it, um, which I have that set up right because I don't want just anything randomly hitting my wall or my profile or my page because I have a whole strategy on social media. Number one, so number one, I have a strategy on what I post and when I post it, and there's reasons behind when I'm posting what. 
And if I'm sharing something for a friend or uh, if I do two posts in a row, I don't usually do two posts in a row. I want it to linger there for at least an hour, two hours, right? So if I post something and then I'm tagged in something right away, that knocks the thing that I just put on my wall down and yours is front and center when I didn't even want that on my wall in the first place. So do not tag people on anything that doesn't relate to them is my my really big recommendation. Don't tag people. It's like it's like throwing something in front of their house. It's like putting a sign up about your stuff in front of their house. It's like putting something um, in front of, in their email newsletter, for example. Okay, so it's it's not good etiquette to tag people like that. Now, <clears throat> if I was at an event with you a couple days ago, or a week ago, or even a month ago. And we took a picture together and you're just now getting around to posting it and it's a picture of me and you and a bunch of people and you're tagging me in that, that I that is fine. I'm happy to have pictures posted and stuff like that. That has to do with me. Great. Tag me. But don't tag 40 other people that aren't in the picture just because you want them to see it. That is not good, right? Or don't tag me. I've had people tag me at pictures at event, their events. When I wasn't even at the event, they just want to have my people see their picture. And that's that's just, that's sleazy, it's cheesy, it is bad email etiquette or social media etiquette. Don't do that, people. Now, if you want someone like me or someone else that you might, you want someone's attention, private message them and say, hey, I'm reaching out, I'm in the middle of promoting this thing right now. Just curious if you would be able to share something on your wall and to your followers. I'd really, really appreciate it. If so, I'd be happy to give you a little blurb that you can copy and paste and put on your wall. Do that, people. This is how you're going to get more respect, more sharing, more promotion of your stuff if you ask us privately to share it. And then, of course, you have to give us copy. We're not going to go to a web page and go find stuff to promote. We're not just going to promote some random link. We want actually the words that you would need to copy and paste. So that is what you would want to do if you really want to get someone's attention and have them share something for you. And uh, the final thing is, um, well, not the final thing. There's two more things. So one other thing is in groups. So you know there's a lot of groups on social media now right, on LinkedIn and on Facebook, you you need to read the rules of the person's group. If it's not your group and someone put in rules like Monday is motivation day, only put motivation, no links, only memes and images and quotes, then you better not put anything promotional on a Monday because that's going to piss off that organizer. Don't piss off group organizers or you're going to not be able to play. You're going to be kicked off the playground and kicked out of the playground, seriously, and not be able to play. So watch the rules of what they're asking. Now, if you, I know some groups that I'm in don't want any links posted, no links, because supposedly Facebook will actually give your group more play in the news feed if you don't put a lot of links, especially outside Facebook links, links that are not inside Facebook. Uh, so I actually have to request and I send a private message to the organizer and saying, hey, I think this is going to be really pertinent to your people. Is it okay if I post this? And I'll show him exactly what I want to put in the post with the link and everything. And if he says yes, then I can post it and I put the link in the comments or whatever. So I specifically ask if I know it's going to be relevant to that particular group, I will talk with the organizer. This is why it's good to get to know your organizers. All right, if you're part of a group, start messaging with the organizers or the admins and see why they're there and see how you can help them. And then when it's time for you to maybe ask for a favor or ask them to share something, maybe they will. And that's how you're going to get more play in the groups. Another thing is you can look at the members of the groups and you can definitely private message them and try to share with them. Don't, this is what people do this from LinkedIn all the time and it's so annoying is they'll send me an email an actual email in my inbox because they went to my they were a part of a group on LinkedIn or we were connected on LinkedIn they'll go to my website or my profile on LinkedIn they'll pull my email address and then they'll send me a private email and they've added me to their email list that is a big no no for social media etiquette 
No, 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 no. Never, 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 ever, ever go and get someone's email address from their social media profile and put them on your email list. That is so bad. I can't even tell you how bad that is. That is like, I'm going to block you, I'm going to unfriend you, and I'm going to ban you from, from everything. And I'm going to spam you on my email so that your email provider gets a notice that you've been spammed. I'm going to do that, okay? I never do that. I never add people to my email list that uh, have already haven't gone to my website or seen me at a live event ever. Don't do that. That's encroaching more on social media. I mean, email etiquette now. But if you're pulling people from social media to email, bad. Okay. Now, if you're gonna send them a, if you're gonna send me a private email and saying, hey, I saw you on LinkedIn or we messaged on LinkedIn. I wanted to take it off onto email. Can we have a conversation? That's completely different. They haven't added me to an email list, okay? So you got to know the differences and what, what's good and what's bad to be doing. Um, <clears throat> and the final thing on social media etiquette that I think is one of the biggers is share stuff. Like if you want your stuff shared, share other people's stuff. Go to your news feed, share a couple things every single day on your profile, on your business page, in a group. Uh, share someone's video or Facebook Live. Share things that are relevant to your followers and your topic. The more you share, the more social currency you will have with that person. If you're trying to get my attention on social media, the more you share my posts, my blog posts, my video tips, all that kind of stuff, the more I'm going to be paying attention. And I'm going to see that you're sharing a lot of my stuff. And I'm going to say, oh, thanks for sharing all my stuff. At least that's what I do. I like to thank people who share, right? Then you're on my radar. Even if I'd never heard of you, you're on my radar now because I see you sharing. Okay, and the more you share, if you came back and asked me to do something for you, I would probably do it in a heartbeat, assuming it, you know, it matched my, my demographic. So just saying, social currency is sharing and doing one for others that you would want them to do for you. So I hope this is helpful. It clears up some of the do's and don'ts of social media. I know it's kind of a big, unknown kind of a place to be. But if you can follow some of these guidelines, you'll be much more successful and you need to reach out to as many people as humanly possible, you guys, and connect with more and more people. That's going to bring you more business, more opportunities, uh, and so on. So if you'd like more information like this, make sure you're getting on my email newsletter. I have a whole new page. You can go to um, jumpstartyourmarketing.com forward slash newsletter and get on the newsletter. I send out uh, articles, video tips like this, blog posts, uh, guest articles, and I have a whole event calendar where you can find me online and offline, uh, and a whole bunch more. This It's really valuable. It comes out every Monday. Uh, I've really reduced the amount of emails that I sent, that I send now, and I only send an email newsletter every Monday. So you want to get on the list because it's great content for growing your business. So. I hope that's helpful uh, and I will talk to you soon. Have a great day, everyone.